Hey guys, have you seen the new FCC general exam that doesn't expire until 2027? If you haven't seen it, you might want to check it out. The FCC might be looking into introducing CW Morse code back into ham radio. So, hey, without any further ado, let's go check it out. Check it out. Which of the following describes full break-in CW operation? QSK. From these choices, is it breaking stations send the Moore's pro code pro sign BK? Automatic keyers instead of hand keys are used to send Moore's code? An operator must activate a manual send receive switch before and after every transmission? Transmitting stations can receive between code characters and elements. Well, guess what? Full break-in means you can hear in between what you're sending. That's what I like to do. Transmitting stations can receive between code characters and elements. So this is in the general. It is element 2, section C. That's question number 1. Let's look at question number 2 now. What should you do if a CW station sends QRS? From these choices, A, send slower, B, change frequency, C, increase your power, or D, repeat everything twice. QRS, if you do CW and you've started CW, you probably already know what that means. It means send slower. Let's look at number three. What does it mean when a CW operator sends KN at the end of a transmission? From these choices, no U.S. stations should call. B. Operating full break-in. C. Listening only for a specific station or stations. D. Closing station now. Well, this one, when you do a proper CW call, maybe a 2 by 3 a one by two where you set KO4 NLL they W1 RCP W1 RCP KN that means I'm listening only for a specific station and that is the correct answer question number four says what does the Q signal QRL question mark mean from these choices will you keep the frequency clear are you operating full break-in, or can you operate full break-in? C. Are you listening only for a specific station? D. Are you busy, or is this frequency in use? When I do CW, I send QRL after I've listened for a minute. It means, is this frequency in use? But it can also mean, are you busy if you're I don't even know. If you're already in a conversation with somebody, what does it mean, are you busy? That's probably the least used out of this. Usually it's, is this frequency in use? On SSB, you just say, hey, is this frequency in use? Question number five, what is the best speed to use when answering a CQ in Morse code? Now, I grew up with the Straight Key Century Club, and... I'll tell you about that in a minute, but here's your choices. The fastest speed at which you are comfortable copying, but no slower than the CQ. B, the fastest speed at which you are comfortable copying, but no faster than the CQ. C, at the standard calling speed of 10 words per minute, or D, at the standard calling speed of 5 words per minute. Those are distractors. So it's A or B. The fastest speed at which you are comfortable copying but no faster than the CQ. The reason being is if you send faster than you can copy you're gonna be in trouble. The other station should send whichever station is the slowest is the one who gets the accommodations usually. Now, sometimes chasing parks on the air doesn't always happen that way. If you're in a contest, it's not going to happen that way. But in general conversation in CW, 
Usually, you try to stick to whoever's the slowest. What does the term zero beat mean in CW operation? So, you got matching the speed of the transmitting station, operating split to avoid interference on frequency, sending without error, yeah, right. <laughs> Anyways, you probably know that one's not right. And then matching the transmit frequency to the frequency of the received signal. That is the correct answer. Matching the transmit frequency uh, to the frequency of a received signal. Zero beat means that you are right on top of the signal. And, of course, our radio is offset nowadays. I think back in the day... Zero beat meant that you actually turn your dial till you couldn't hear them, and then you moved off, you offset, and then you uh, would find the tone that sounded good to you. Um, that's a, a we call zero beat being right on the same frequency as the other person, and that's nice if you're in a general conversation. It parks on the air, a little deviation. Unless you're on 60 meters, supposedly 60 meters, you're not supposed to deviate at all. Which is weird because there's digital. And, that, and SSB is everywhere, but it is what it is. We get what we get. All right, when sending CW, what does a C mean when added to the RST report? Well, that's weird because I don't even know the answer to this question. From these choices, it's chirpy or unstable signal. I thought that that was what RST, the tone, I thought if you gave them a lower number that it meant it was chirpy, but we'll see. Um, report what was read from the S meter rather than estimated. 100% uh, copy or key clicks? Well... On hamtesttrivia.com, when you study this, if you've taken the, this particular quiz, the facilitator going through this, its correct answer is A, a chirpy or unstable signal. I've never used this. Usually rigs with chirpy sounds are like uh, there, there was a guy in Cuba that I used to talk to, and he was using a very old Russian transmitter. It was chirpy because it had to... <laughs> it was kind of cool sounding, uh, but usually that's an older technology. Most of our modern rigs do not have that problem. All right, I think we're getting down to the uh, uh, getting down to the end. All right, I think we're getting down to the end of this one. What pro sign is sent to indicate the end of a formal message when using CW? I used to listen to a bunch of AWRL code tapes. So I know that SK is not the end of a formal message. BK is also not the end of a formal message. That usually means break. We call it back to you, basically. Uh, anytime I do uh, POTA, it happens that way. BK means back to you for me. It's a break. Let you come in. Because we're just quick, quick, quick uh, exchanges. C A R. Or D, K, N. Well, we just learned a minute ago, K, N means we're looking for a specific station. Just said that B, K, S, K is usually when you're going off the air. The correct answer here is A, R. Da, 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 da. That, that is when you're at the end of a formal message. Question number nine. What does the Q signal QSL mean? We... <laughs> <laughs> you should know because we dang, I'm gonna use this one on on SSB like it's nothing. So you should know the answer to this one. From these choices, send slower. We have already confirmed the contact. I'll tell you honestly, I thought that's what that meant. Send a QSL card. C. I have received and understood. D. We have worked before. So if you answer QSL without a question mark, it actually means I have received and understood. 
What's nice is when you say QSL and you've got a low signal report, it seems to come across better than I got I got you, bruh. All right. What does the Q signal QRN mean? Ah, let's see. Send more slowly. No, we learned that one a minute ago. B, stop sending. C, zero beat my signal. Or D, I am troubled by static. QRN is noise that is natural. It means you are troubled by static. QRM, as in Mary, means that you're being interfered with. And the last one, and I've seen this one, the new Polo app, Ham2K Polo actually uses this one when you go to spot yourself. What does the Q signal QRV mean? You are sending too fast. There is interference on the frequency. Well, we just learned QRM, QRN could be some kind of interference. C, I am quitting for the day. D, I am ready to receive. Well, the answer is, I'm ready to receive. QRV means that you are ready. It is go time. So, is the FCC pushing CW? Well, I'll leave that answer up to you. The question is, are they pushing CW? So, it would appear that in the general question pool that's good until 2027, that they want you to know something about CW. What's great is a lot of hams are turning to CW. It is an exciting mode. It's a lot of fun. It does take a lot longer to learn because we learned how to talk when we were young. We didn't wake up one day and just start saying mama and CW. Da, 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 da. We just said mama or dada. Da did it, did I, da did it, did I. All righty, guys. So this was a little clickbait, and you hopefully you learned something from it. Have a great one. Let's get out there and play radio.